Hey everybody, this is Chris from CodePen and I wanna show you how debug view works on CodePen or debug mode. Uh, it's probably one of my favorite views on CodePen. Let me show you how it works, it's pretty cool. So I'm here on my dashboard and I've just found a pen of my own. I'm just gonna open up that pen in the editor, which is kind of the primary view on CodePen for crafting what I'm gonna build and playing around and doing what I do on CodePen. But now I wanna like, I wanna look at this thing without any of the code. I wanna look at it totally full page with no iframe like it is down here shown in, no CodePen interference whatsoever in a way. Not that we like interfere with your code, but you know, like I don't wanna dig down into this to look at. I wanna see the full page all by itself view. That's what debug mode is. And I get to it by opening up the change view drop down up here just selecting debug mode and off I go. So now the URL is changed up here. You can see it's a totally white page, no code pen UI at all. Debug is in the URL here. And if I inspect around in here, I can see this is just exactly the code as I've written it. Now it's kind of put together code because you know on, on code pen, what you write in the HTML area gets put inside the body in a complete document. The CSS you get written gets put in the head, the JavaScript in the footer, any libraries that you link up are put together in here. So this is the fully put together view. It's the same as what you see down here. It's just all by itself on a, on a, on a page here. So pretty darn useful here. Now that's great for testing. You know, I wanna just, I wanna ship this thing in a, in a way that looks exactly, you know, the, the code I wrote cause I wanna test in that way. Context is nice here, specifically like JavaScript context. You can see I wrote let foo equals bar here in the JavaScript. But if I open up the console here, oh, it's probably a bunch of dumb, browser extension stuff, ignore the errors there. But if I write foo, it's not defined. Like why isn't it defined? Oh, because the context here is all of CodePen itself, not just this demo down here. So I could find it, you know, dig through all this, see if I can find this and then foo is bar. So I'm in the right context. You know, I can actually inspect something in here. And the second that I inspect it, then the console moves to that context. It's a nice little trick. Uh, but it's wrong to begin with. As soon as the page refreshes, it's wrong again. I mean, our console is always in the right context, but uh, the browser console always defaults to the parent page here, which kind of makes sense, but it's a little annoying when you're trying to debug JavaScript. Now, over here, uh, I can refresh whatever, uh, foo will be bar. Like, there is no parent page page here. There's no iframe at all. So the context is always uh, correct. This is great for testing. I can grab this URL and like, okay, I want to see how this is faring in IE 11 or something. So I'll use a tool like cross browser testing, paste that URL in there. I can test mobile browsers, all kinds of stuff, spin up a test uh, in a tool like this. And it's going to show me again, that code all by itself, isolated kind of a, a nice thing for testing. So it looks like it's faring pretty well here in IE 11. That's wonderful, but if I wanted to make changes, I go make changes, save it here, go refresh my uh, uh, my thing over here, my IE 11 instance, uh, and I'm off to the races. If that, that's a wonderfully powerful thing. So <clears throat> there are other views that show you full page context on CodePen as well, but none as kind of like isolated and perfect as, as debug view is. So for example, there's live or a full page view, you know, named after what it's doing, but you can see it still has the header here. This is great for sharing. It tells you what the pen is, who made it, ability to fork it and like it and jump around and stuff like that. Now this is on purpose this way. This is still in an iframe down here. It's totally safe to share on Twitter and it's just a nice way. You can, you can test with this view too, but you just have that iframe in the way of, of testing, which can be uh, uh, not perfect sometimes. Now there is a pro component to debug view as well, uh, which is which is worth talking about here. So let me go back to the editor view. I can just open debug view uh, and use it no matter what. So even if I'm I go to a different browser like I have in cross browser testing, or I'm logged out, well, I'll be logged out in an incognito window, of course, so I can paste that in. That just works just fine. It's totally smooth, effortless, flawless when you're pro. Now, free users can use debug mode as well. So I'm logged in here looking at some tester pen uh, of a free user. I can just open debug mode and use it as well. It's not like you're locked from using it, but let me copy that link and open an incognito window and paste it uh, here in Chrome. There's gonna be like an authorization prompt 
uh, in the way of you looking at that. So it's not really shareable on Twitter or shareable anywhere else uh, because a free user, you know, you, they, you have to be logged in to use it. And we're not trying to be obnoxious with this. Uh, or a money grab or whatever. It's kind of for security and spam reasons, frankly. So, you know, if you're if you're a spam or bad guy and making a nasty web page that you want to send people to because CodePen makes that really easy, debug views the one that you want, of course, because there's no CodePen UI in the way. You can totally fool somebody into thinking that that website is real or whatever kind of uh, uh, nefarious thing you're trying to do. Well, we get in the way of doing that for free users, and we find that the, the pro thing being in the way makes that problem pretty much go away. Not to mention, we're going to catch you if you're a bad guy spammer on CodePen anyway. We have lots of tooling for that, but we find that this pro thing is like a really effective filter for that. So it's just a nice a pro feature. You know, I recommend upgrading on CodePen Pro. I would do it just for this because you have this kind of seamless experience with debug view, not to mention you get a, a bunch of other uh, uh, things as well. Now, we also have Live view, which is another pro feature, which looks just like debug view. There's no header. There's nothing in the way. But what this does is when I make changes to this, uh, uh, live view is automatically instantly updated. So that makes it really nice for 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 testing, like in another tab, or you know, some people like to uh, maximize their coding window here and open live view in another window, so they can you know have as maximum coding room as possible or test on their phones or something like that. So I can, and that, that that's, reminds me, I can, uh, like I have the, like an iPhone simulator here, I can paste in debug view and take a look at what I've created here uh, uh, on a mobile device. And that will work on your, your native mobile device or in a simulator or in cross-browser testing or anything else. In fact, I can share that to uh, a phone number uh, uh, really quickly and that'll open live view and stuff. But, you know, we're talking about debug view here. That's the beauty of it. The whole point of it, of course, is just looking at the code that you've built with no, nothing, no iframe, no interruptions in any way. And that's just wonderful for debugging and testing uh, and things like that. And it's really easiest to use if you're pro on CodePen. And of course, we'd love it if you upgrade to pro on CodePen. Let us know if you have any questions. Uh -huh. Thanks for watching. Thank you.